to assess the extraocular muscles, shine a light onto the patient's eyes from about two look. feet away. Ask her to look at the light. From just behind your light, observe its reflections. These should be visible slightly nasal to the center of the pupils. Now check the six cardinal directions of gaze. These directions correspond to the coordinated action of six muscles involved in eye movement, innervated by cranial nerves 3, 4, and 6. From 2 to 3 feet in front of the patient, ask the patient to follow your finger. Making a wide H in the air, lead the patient's gaze to the patient's far right, to the right and up, to the right and down, and without pausing in the middle, to the far left, to the left and up, and finally to the left and down. Eye movements should be symmetrical and conjugate. To detect nystagmus, pause during upward and lateral gaze. A few beats of nystagmus on extreme lateral gaze are normal. In a patient with lid lag, watch for a rim of sclera between the upper lid and iris as the eyes move up and down. To test for convergence, observe as the patient's eyes watch your finger move toward the bridge of the nose. Normally, the eyes converge and follow your finger to within 5 to 8 centimeters of the nose.